It is Saturday and I made a trip to Costco to stock up for a while. <laughs> um, I actually bought more than I usually do but um, I had decided to stock up on some bigger items that I usually do when school starts. So the first thing I purchased, well technically I guess it's not the first thing but you know it's one of the things on the table are these spicy pickles um, if you guys saw these in my last haul these things are hot and they're addictive I don't know why because your eardrums are on fire when you eat them but then you can't stop eating them because they taste so good so I got these I got a big thing of hamburger meat because um, we're going to make spaghetti we're going to um, what all did I say uh, spaghetti burgers and tacos I think is what's going to come out of this thing there's five pounds so definitely going to get more than just those meals out um, I got a thing of hot dog buns these are $1.99 you cannot beat the deal um, also got hamburger buns also $1.99 I got a huge thing of sugar and underneath here because I can't pick it up is all-purpose flour um, I went ahead and stocked up on that and then I got a big thing of all-natural brown sugar because when school starts we go into October I do a lot of baking and a lot of things for uh, different reasons and so I just stocked up on that stuff it's just easier than having to run back and forth to the grocery store um, I got this shredded mild cheddar cheese and it comes with um, it's a two bag deal and it's very uh, inexpensive and it tastes really good okay let me put this over here so I can get to what is next okay so I bought two containers of this Greek yogurt my husband and I love Greek yogurt and we have honey on ours and maybe a little bit of fruit or I put it in a smoothie we love Greek yogurt it's very good for you and I love it I got this we ran out of this and I never bought it um, anymore but I love this Vidalia onion salad dressing my kids like it as well very inexpensive compared to the regular grocery store and worth the um, the price of the bigger bottles so I got that then I got some brats um, chicken and apple brats I always buy these every month we love these things with sauerkraut they're delicious I opted and got some turkey breast meat uh, for some sandwiches um, I don't usually do sandwich meat the reason why is because my boys don't stay out of it and they'll just sit and eat and eat and eat and eat it and um, then we don't really necessarily get meals out of it and it makes me infuriated with them because honestly nobody needs to sit and eat that like that it's a waste of money okay so then I bought um, my husband picked out this huge uh, thing of turkey bacon we are trying to buy and purchase a little bit healthier um, I know hamburger meat but this is lean ground beef I think it's fine because we're having company tomorrow and that's when we're having the burgers um, but we are trying to avoid pork and things like that so we're eating a lot more uh, turkey breast and turkey and chicken that kind of thing this month okay so then we saw this bread and it just looks so good it's the 21 uh, whole grains and oats bread um, and it just sounded so delicious and went ahead for the price I couldn't even make bread um, for the price that it was today I went ahead and I saw that OCD much if you don't watch her channel you need to watch her channel she does grocery budgeting and does hauls as well and cleaning motivational type um, videos um, favorites videos really enjoy her she bought her her tortillas I think she got hers from Sam's Club but honestly this is so well worth this thing whole thing was three dollars you cannot beat that okay so then I got some what did they call this sweet kale and um, I cannot read today but it's basically a salad mix um, and we thought we would mix it with oh let me read here guys 
thought we'd mix it with the garden salad mix. Um, thought that that would be really delicious um, to have a salad. And I've got a few extra um, bits and bobs in the uh, refrigerator, you know, like some celery and things to throw into um, a salad. And we thought we'd have salad tonight since we had pizza for lunch, since we're trying to do better. Um, I got this huge bag of fries because I'm going to make everybody fries tomorrow because um, I'm going to have young people here. I got these um, margarita pizzas, and I'm going to tell you guys, these are so good. Not my kids' favorite. They will eat them, but these are one of my favorite frozen pizzas. If I'm going to buy a frozen pizza, this is it. So I got two things of eggs. And I don't usually buy these kinds of eggs, but um, my husband picked them out today. So I ran out of the Kirkland's uh, black pepper. I went ahead and picked that up. I got this um, this um, pasta, kind of a combination of different types of pasta shells. I really like the way this uh, brand tastes. And um, I noticed that Laura Vitale even buys a lot of this pasta. So. That was good. And then my husband said, well, if I'm going to have pasta, i got to have cheese. And so he got this little small container of Parmesan. <laughs> and I laughed at him about it. I'm like, can you see company coming over? Here's your Parmesan. Anyways, I just thought it was funny. It's just so huge. Anyways, then I got my laundry detergent right there. And you know what? This isn't everything. Okay. Here is my Dawn liquid soap that I bought. I told you I didn't make it in here with everything. Um, I cannot live without Dawn soap. I've seen other people use other brands. I've tried other brands, but Dawn just works awesome. I Look also, at that! I got a big thing of green beans. <laughs> I thought I shot everything and I didn't. I got a big thing of green beans. I'm trying to tilt this so you guys can see it. There we go. And then I got a thing of coffee. I thought surely we didn't leave all of that in the car and it was underneath the bread. Oh, good gracious, alive. It's been a long week, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, did buy and spend a little extra than I usually do, but uh, this here sugar and flour usually lasts me, I mean, depending on how much baking I do, um, at least three months, if not longer, especially the brown sugar. It's going to last me a good long while. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and give me a thumbs up on this video and I will be talking to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.